What's up everybody? Beastly Gamer here joined by Kate. It's everything random. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's something that we've been wanting to do for a real long time. We're going to make official Naruto Ramen. And what do you kind think? he eats on the show. Yeah, we're big fans of the anime Naruto. Probably a lot of you guys are too. And uh, living here in America, those ingredients are really hard to find. But we've actually uh, done some maneuvering out there in the grocery world, and we were able to get official Japanese Naruto ingredients. And today we're going to make them for you, and we're going to let you guys see how it turns out. All right, so first things first, you get your Cuisinart knife, and you start cutting chicken. Just go crazy. No, I'm just kidding. What we're going to do is actually take some boneless chicken breasts and cut them thin. I would say maybe a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want them too thick. After you cut it in half, you want to cut it into thin quarter inch slices, right about there. Now, a lot of the times people use uh, pork tenderloins for this part. Yeah, uh, actually the pork is probably the most popular uh, ramen soup base that I've seen on the interwebs, but uh, we don't eat pork, believe it or not. Uh, and no, we're not Muslim. We just don't eat pork. It's something that I, I've never really been into, and you really haven't either. Have you? No. I uh, we like beef bacon. Actually, I think beef bacon tastes wonderful, and uh, I like beef ribs and things of that nature. For some reason, seeing the extra pink pork turns me off. I like my pink. I like my my uh, meats red I like this cutting board all right so as you guys can see we got some fresh sliced and diced chicken breasts now I'm going to go ahead and bake this and I'm going to give it about 375 for 45 minutes but before I bake it I got to season it so the first thing I want to do is put a little bit of liquid smoke in it this gives it a nice little oaky smoky flavor you don't want to do too much of this, this stuff is extremely concentrated also, we're going to throw some salt in there. Now, I'm an old school soul cooker, so I, I, I got a feel for it. I don't really do measurements and things like that. I'm just telling you guys that flat out. Don't get, hit me with the teaspoon and stuff in the comment section. We're going to use some paprika. We're going to go with a little bit of black pepper. and some red wine as a nice little base. Actually, it's red wine vinegar. I love this stuff. It gives my foods a very, very unique flavor. And last but not least, we got some fresh cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna throw these in here and mix up this chicken. Make sure that those seasons are evenly distributed through here because this is actually gonna help with my miso base. All right, so I'm gonna flatten it down a little bit and get ready to throw it in the oven. All right, so before we put the chicken in, we actually covered it with some foil because we need to hold that moisture in the chicken. The last thing you want is some dried chicken. We're gonna go ahead and drop it in at 375 degrees. Be back in a minute. Okay guys, so while your chicken is in the oven cooking, what you wanna do is boil some water cause we are going to um, make some soft boiled eggs cause you have one egg per serving of ramen. So you want the water to boil and then you go ahead and turn it off. And then depending on how many servings you're gonna be making, you wanna put one egg for each serving. So we're gonna do just a whole carton here and you want to let this cook since you're not going to be making hard-boiled eggs you want to let this cook for seven minutes so once you put all your eggs in you're going to go ahead and set the timer while it's still turned off for seven minutes Sasuke! all right so we're going to go ahead and set the timer and let those sit for seven minutes we'll be back okay so we waited seven minutes for the eggs to cook 
and then you remove them and put them in cold water or ice water we don't have any ice cubes so I'm just using cold water and once they cool down you can then peel them real easily after putting them in the ice water so we're gonna go ahead and peel them and then we're gonna wait until we make our plates and cut these in half and we'll put one in each serving all right so moving on guys right now what we got going is 12 cups of water they come to a boil what we need to do is make our miso soup base and that's going to be the base for the, uh, the ramen so in order to get this going what I want to do is dice some scallions some green onions and our onions now we're going to drop the onions into the boiling water next we got chicken broth. This is the broth from the chicken that I baked. And uh, this is actually going to be a really nice addition to the flavor of the miso. This is miso paste. And this is actually going to be the base of our soup tonight. And what you do is you take four to eight teaspoons for every four, four cups of water. And uh, you dissolve that inside. I actually already pre. Well, my wife already pre-measured, so here we have our miso paste, and we're going to add it. Get that off that spoon, get your whisk, and whisk away. Okay guys, so now we got a steady, nice, slow boil going with our uh, miso soup and so now I'm adding the chicken I told you guys I'm serious about my Naruto I love Naruto you guys hear that nice sizzling sound back there that's actually I'm sauteing some mushrooms to go on top of the ramen you saute these mushrooms in some nice olive oil hold in the flavor put a little bit of salt and pepper in there let's get the rest of this chicken inside this broth now once the chicken's inside, I'm going to increase the heat, let it cook for about another 10 minutes. I got a few more things to add to this broth to make it extra scrumptious. It's almost dinner time, guys. All right, so going in next, we've got some spring bamboo shoots. And I got the actual fresh. I didn't want to get the canned stuff. I got them sliced here. I'm going to go ahead and add them to my ramen concoction. Now, I'm frying, or I'm sauteing some mung sprouts. These are bean sprouts, and uh, these are actually gonna be a topping for the ramen as well. Okay, so for the noodle with this uh, Naruto ramen, we're going to be using yakisoba. Stir fry noodles with seasoning base. We're not gonna use the seasoning in here, but it comes in packs, you get three packs to each pouch here. So what you want to do is boil some water and we're just going to go ahead and put these in here and let them cook for about five minutes and then you can strain them. And this is probably the thing I was probably the most excited about. It's called Kamaboko and uh, in Japan it's referred to as Naruto and uh, this is the thing that we normally see on the top of Naruto ramen. It's uh, the fish cake and when you cut it open you usually see the spiral. I never tried this before, so this is my first time. I'm super excited about it. Let's get into it. Okay. Well, guys, this is the final product of our official Naruto ramen. Now, Kate, do you want to tell them some of the ingredients you see here? Um, we have sautéed mushrooms. Here, grab your uh, chopsticks. Show them you know how to use them. Right. We have sautéed mushrooms. We have bamboo shoot. Mm -hmm. We have um, Naruto. Naruto. Fish, fish cakes. Fish cakes. Some carrots. We have some soft boiled eggs, chicken, the actual soup, and ramen. Oh, and bean sprouts. So this is gonna be a, a nice treat. We really are thankful for you guys. 
checking this out. There will be a total recipe list in the description. So if you guys want to try to make it for yourself, leave a comment and let me know how it comes out. As you guys can see, I'm super anxious to get started on this. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I miss everything random. And we'll see you guys next time.